Hey guys, I hope you had a really great day trading today. This morning we did gap down all the way to the bottom of the implied move and which was also the first support level which was Monday's lows. And then from there, we pretty much just sold off and we sold off and uh, tried to test that 427 level and bounce there uh, for just a moment and then try to hold it before selling off in the later half of the day. We did close right around that 426 level, which was the next support underneath uh, Monday's lows. Zooming out, we can see that was right after the gap up and then we did make a little support there. Not a super strong support, but it was there and thankfully we are getting pretty close to this up gap right here which i would expect to be a buy level and if we see some some buying action in here it can actually still get down to the uh one day 200 moving average here but this level right here we should start seeing a little bit of buying and then hopefully a bounce around the one day 200 moving average, but that is definitely getting a little bit ahead here. We did close down 1.47% and VIX popped 12%. So we should definitely see a little bit of a range expansion tomorrow. And we did not close within the implied move today. That is the third time within two weeks that we had a um, close not within the implied move the second time where we had a one and a half percent down day so pretty big stuff going on all right that sums up today let's go check out tomorrow's levels So tomorrow's implied move is between 421 and 430 and that is from options and then from the chart we have the 30 day historical volatility 420 to 432 and to the upside we don't have anything until we get to the very top of the implied move and that is the down gap that we made today and then at the top of that gap we have the neckline of that big head and shoulders that goes back to June so that is the level right here we did break down underneath the neckline and actually yesterday we closed above it and then this morning gapped down so that level is actually at the top of tomorrow's trading range and then to the downside, I am actually gonna stay zoomed out for a second because this gap, this green gap right here is the next support level. And this level between this up gap and this daily 200 moving average, that level with this gap right here offer a little bit of support. We did make a massive drop over the past week and tomorrow's trading range looks like we are going to probably see some relief here. So we do have the the bottom of the implied move is um, the bottom of the gap here. And then just outside we have the 200 day moving average. So really interesting trading range. I um, just wanted to zoom out to the daily time frame. We also did see RSI hit it actually closed just above 30. that is actually a much better rsi landing than in the four hour because the four hour we crashed through the moving average this looks like we are hitting oversold right in time to bounce on the 200 day moving average i do have 422 as my target to close my shorts so i will be probably out of everything tomorrow that is all i see so let's see if we get a little relief here have fun trade safe take profits when you're up and i will see you guys tomorrow